so many great after shows, right? We remember uh, the MTV, The Hills after show with Dan and Jesse. We remember Talking Dead after The Walking Dead, but there's nothing like the insider trading after show. And today's guest is our friend Jamie McLennan. And it's appropriate because we just heard the insiders talk about the fact that the Connor Hellebuck trade market might be thinning somewhat, Jamie, because he wants a big contract extension and he wants Andre Vasilevsky money, i.e. somewhere in that nine and a half million range. I mean, it seems to me that he probably deserves it. I'm curious to get your thoughts as a former NHL goaltender. Yeah, 100% deserves it because this guy's always in the conversation of the Vesna. He's one of the best goaltenders on the planet. And I don't know how many times we see throughout the National Hockey League, it's not a problem for a team to pay a 40-goal scorer or a 50-goal scorer $10 million, but now you're going to balk at a top-end goaltender who can play 60-plus minutes or 60-plus games, mind you, and he wants $9.5 million. That's what's wrong with the league right now, Jay, and I know I'm a goaltender hugger, but the bottom line is, is Connor Halibut gives you a chance to win nightly. And if it's not going to be in Winnipeg, well, some, some lucky organization is going to get him and he's going to be the backbone for many years because he just turned 30 years old. He's got plenty of runway left of top goaltending. So uh, if he wants a long-term deal with something with a nine in it, absolutely he deserves it because he's a top-tier goaltender and they're very hard, hard to find in today's game. Do you get the feeling, Jamie, that the Sergei Bobrovsky contract kind of scared a lot of teams off of dealing out a lot of those big contracts for goaltenders, even though he had such a terrific playoffs. But he was a much streakier goaltender than Hellebuck going into that, that deal with Florida. Absolutely. Bobrovsky's deal obviously scares people because if you're looking at it, it wasn't that long ago Bobrovsky was wearing a baseball cap and it was Alex Lyon who was helping out the Florida Panthers. So, yes, having $10 million sit on the bench is not great. But ultimately, all you need is your goaltender to be your best player at some point. And that's what Connor Hellebuck can bring to the table. Andre Vasilevsky does it. There's top-tier goaltenders that are capable. We saw Carey Price do it for many years. So uh, you, I wouldn't bet on every goaltender doing it. But I think Hellebuck is deserving of that money. I couldn't agree more. Let's stick with the Jets. So Hellebuck's likely out the door. Big save Dave Riddick set to become a UFA. Is there a goaltender out there, Jamie, that you think that Kevin Day off of the Jets should potentially target for next season? Well, it depends on where they're going. This is the biggest challenge for me, Jay, in this question is, are they going to retool? Are they going to rebuild? Because it's not only Connor Hellebuck's situation. It's Mark Scheifele. It's Blake Wheeler. Uh, it's Pierre-Luc Dubois. What are you doing with those players? So if you are cycling them out or trading them, are you in a retool situation or are you rebuilding? If you're rebuilding, then you want to bottom out and you don't need a top-tier goaltender. Uh, UC Saros' name is out there. Now, he's 29 years old. He's a top-tier goaltender. Um, or is it a guy like Tristan Jerry, who's 27 years old? I think he's a great goaltender who didn't have his best season last year, but he's played in the All-Star game, and he might fetch a lot of money on the open market. So there's lots of, as we know, it's musical chairs for goaltenders. And if Connor Hellebuck's going to head out, there will be options for Kevin Sheveldayoff. And I just mentioned a few names, but it depends on what he wants to do. Because if he bottoms out, he might be looking to go on the cheap to help his organization on, in the retool situation. Pierre Lebrun surprised me a bit in this latest edition of Insider Trading, Jamie, because he said that uh, UFA to be Ryan O'Reilly... Uh, could potentially return to the Maple Leafs. Now, you guys talked to Ryan O'Reilly a few weeks ago on TSN Radio. Um, cap gymnastics aside, did you just get a feeling that, yes, he, he enjoyed his time in that stretch run and he'd like to return to Toronto? Absolutely. Now, you just mentioned it. Cap gymnastics, is the price right? Is he going to be able to be a fit financially for the organization? But... Is he a fit if you moved the salary aside? Absolutely. Ryan O'Reilly, uh, to me, not only being a local guy, but understands the magnitude of the market, understands where he would fit in the lineup, whether it's the number two centerman or pushing to the wing, or if there's tremendous depth, you slide down to that third line. But it gives head coach Sheldon Keefe uh, lots of options, as we saw in the playoffs. And I think he's a perfect fit from a professional standpoint, from a human standpoint. He's one of the best-known guys in the National Hockey League as a person. 
and as far as being a role model, again, for some of the young players that are cycling through. So he is the perfect fit for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Again, you mentioned cap domestics aside. Well, we can't. We have to factor that in because he might just be too pricey for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Jamie, since you uh, talk about Leaf stuff every day on the radio, I just have to ask you about the Leafs goaltending situation. Would you be comfortable with the status quo from last season carrying forward to next season? Absolutely. I think Samsonov earned himself a contract. Uh, depends, again, if Brad Tree Living can get a, a deal that makes sense for him and for the goaltender. And Joseph Wall was fantastic in the playoffs. He's done everything he could at the AHL level to get the promotion. And then underneath the, the watchful eye of the fan base, I think he excelled in the playoffs. I think he did a great job. So that tandem, would be very, I'd be very comfortable with that tandem moving forward if you can get Samson off at a reasonable number moving forward. Okay, stick around, my friend. We want to get your thoughts on the upcoming Hockey Hall of Fame inductions. That will be a little later on this edition of SportsCenter with me, Jay Andre.